Good morning again. I thought we'd do another proverb. We're finishing off chapter 10 today. And we read in, in chapter 10 verses 31-32 that the mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but a perverse tongue will be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is fitting, but the mouth of the wicked only what is perverse. Um, as we end this uh, section, our writer returns to the theme of speech. And uh, speech is such a common theme in Proverbs, isn't it? Uh, I guess we could apply it to social media as well, what we put on in public. Uh, I can think of two reasons at least for this. One is that our tongue can get us into so much trouble. And the other is that it reveals something of the condition of our heart. So it's an important subject. Uh, if the mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, as the verse tells us, uh, sorry, as verse 11 tells us, that then one of the tests is is what does that fountain produce? Does it bring forth wisdom or is it perverse, as today's verse tells us? Luke 6.45, we read that the good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of his heart his mouth speaks. Self-control is so important. If the heart is sick, that's where the problem lies. Uh, evil things will come forth, uh, spill out via the tongue. I've said so many times, haven't I, that the heart of the problem is the problem of the heart. But the contrast is quite shocking. A perverse tongue will be cut out. Uh, and not uncommon punishment in those times. Uh, and no doubt still shocking when it happened. Uh, I would certainly wouldn't hope it was a remedy that Solomon encouraged. Uh, and it isn't something that we would introduce into our church discipline, so don't worry about that. But we are meant to be shocked by it. It's that serious. Uh, are my little white lies so wrong? Is my criticism so damaging? It's just harmless gossip, surely. Uh, we read the righteous know what is fitting. Sometimes we don't know whether to say something, whether it's right or not. But the righteous, those living close to God, know what is fitting. Far too much damage has been done in the, the church by people who should have known better. To call it perverse speech by perverse people might shock us, but it actually seems quite appropriate in the light of this proverb. James has a bit to say. Perhaps we'll give the last word to old James. Uh, he has quite a bit to say about the tongue. Uh, and James 3 verses 9 to 10 tell us, With the tongue we praise the Lord our Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Okay guys, every blessing.